So while you're working with Tinkercad, there are two types of views that you can work with. One is perspective, which is here by default, it is turned on by default and one is orthographic. So in order to actually change into orthographic, we can go around and click over here. But before we do that, let's understand uh, what perspective view is. So as I zoom in, you can see that the objects in front of me are bigger compared to the object at the end. If you were to take this grid point as a reference, you can see that this is the grid point, which is on the front, which is larger compared to what you see at the back. If I were to drag around, the same thing happens with the cube. So the line in the front of the cube is larger than one at the back. So there is a vanishing point somewhere around here. But if I were to go around over here and click on switch to flat view, then this is the orthographic view, which means the uh, vanishing point is infinite. So it goes on forever. And what you see in the front is exactly what you see in the back as well. So there's no uh, perspective uh, scaling going on. So you got like the same size of cube here, same size of cube here. So there's no vanishing point going on right here. So depending on how you want to work uh, is completely your choice. So this is orthographic view means uh, the vanishing point is infinite and what you see on the front and the back is parallel. But if I were to go over here, this is more like a perspective view as in a real world. So you can switch and toggle between them as per what you like and then work around with them accordingly. So that is how you can switch and work around with orthographic and perspective view inside of Tinkercad. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.